Hello, I am Averil Catfish, and in today's video I will be building a Republic-style base on this mountain. This is in my world of crates, so over here we have the water just hanging about, looking all good. Uh, this world is the RTX texture pack, and so it's like vanilla, it's like normal Minecraft, but just some bits look better, like the glass and the water and so on and so forth. So. What I'm going to be doing in this video is basically jumping between different scenes just showing you the general texture of where I am. So the first thing I start doing is actually placing down pink wool. This allows me to see where I want my build to be placed and how it would look best in. So I come across, place the wool down and then I also place more wool around the area just giving myself a kind of general square rectangle shape to see where I want to be. After that I then completely clear out the space using the slash fill air command. I then place in some more pink wool of where I want the walls and as you can see in this video here I'm actually just pointing out the fact that I don't want to have certain areas. So for example on the floor I do change that out to be just pure stone rather than having the coal or the andesite and dorite and dirt and stuff. You can see here I'm just looking at how I'm going to fill in the walls so I actually have a good looking base. Up here, this is a turret I'm going to be building, so once again what I've done is I've marked out a square for myself and then I've placed the centre spots because I know the turret's going to have a, a, a circular base rather than a square and uh, a good thing is where it's such a large space it's going to be quite a large turret. So this area here I then go through and add one of the, um, it's almost like a column but slightly different. So it goes through and it just builds on up like so. Now the good thing about using the pink wool in some cases is the fact that you can just make sure and just edit and just for me I'm using, well it's not pink wool it's purple but for me I can just see where it is I'm working what it is generally I want to build shape wise and then I can either build into those areas or I can build outside of those areas it basically just gives a nice area for you to build. Uh, this column gets rebuilt several times so I'm basically just going through showing you how to build one and then it's going to be a case of coming on through and editing it later and just yeah rebuilding it several times which is what I do however I don't show that in the video because that would be really boring. I add the red there to give it a nice republic style colour Thank you. and then you can see I build up several of the columns and um, once again just nice and easy I have it on easy mode so that's why there's the monsters and then I've also put column uh, the, 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 the torches on top Next, I go up to the top and build in this large glass area. Now, the reason I don't show that on video is because it's really boring in the nicest way possible. It's not that fun of a thing or a process to show. If I was uh, at my accommodation at university where I have the ability to uh, record in third person, then I would show that because actually um, being able to see what I'm doing would be possibly quite useful. Next is that big turret I said about just a minute ago where I have built in this gigantic turbo laser type thing, like the kind of thing you'd see on the side of a Veneta class Star Destroyer. Um, in my next video I'm probably going to show either how to make a Z95 Headhunter, a V19 turret or a V-Wing. I'm not sure what yet, it might possibly be the V19 just because I think I've already recorded that. Think being the ultimate word. But this part here I'm just showing you how to build a simple to build antenna. So it comes up several blocks like so, so two, three on the side there, on all the sides apparently. As you can see, this is one of the things with controllers, this is not always the most accurate, but I find it the easiest to use. And then two up with the red. One, two, three, four. Up with the andesite, and then up by three with the andesite wall. And as you can see, just coming around, just filling that in. And then just going on up with the andesite wall by four. And then putting on some iron bars, two, three, four. And then coming around and doing what I've done here. However, I think I do change that in a minute. This is one of the things where it technically isn't a tutorial. It's just me having a go and just building and just seeing how I get to a certain point, how I feel about certain things and just looking to see what I think looks best. So at the minute, it looks a bit bare. So what I do is I switch out some of the andesite walls and just make sure that it just looks a bit stronger as an actual build. 
So the way I do this is, I add an iron bars down the bottom and I actually think I connect it to the floor by this way. As you can see I get rid of some of the red. This makes it a bit slimmer and a bit nicer because it can look a bit chunky down the bottom sometimes as well if it's not just the right shapes you know it's all about going through building a base shape and then going through and just recheck it to see whether or not it's worth your time so that's the build overall i hope you've enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video thank you very much for watching goodbye